Davy Johnstone looks back at the man who produced most of Elton John's hits in the 70s, the great producer Gus Dudgeon. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Now remember, Davey has a brand new album out. There'll be links in the description of this video where you can buy it. Also links to the entire interview. Usually when we release part one of an interview, the entire interview is on our sister channel, Rock History Book, and there'll be links right at the top of the description if this clip is not long enough for you and you want to hear the whole thing. So check that out. It's also a podcast. Here's Elton John's famous guitarist, Davy Johnstone. Thank you so very much for doing that. I remember the day I found out about Gus and his wife, and I remember thinking, oh, you know, I, I was selfish. The first thing I thought of was, oh, I'll never, I'll never get a chance to talk to him. But then I realized, you know, the man behind the, uh, first of all, as a teenager, we couldn't even pronounce his name because Canadians, we didn't know how to say his name. You quickly learn when you, the internet came out, but that was just, that was heartbreaking for me. I cried. Absolutely. I mean, I mean I, we were devastated. I remember we were just coming back from a tour, literally. We were in, I was, me and Nigel were in, in the car together. And because he doesn't live too far from I do uh, in California. And we were driving home and we got a call uh, from Elton. And it was like, you know, I can't believe this, uh, but, you know, where are you? And I said, well, we're in the car. We're just coming from the airport. He said, you might want to turn around and go back because. I've just heard about Gus and Sheila dying in a car wreck and we're like, what? So literally I went home, had a shower, said hi to my wife. My wife had a, a night's sleep, unpacked, and then put together a bag and went back across to, to London. Uh, and we attended Gus's funeral. Uh, it was just such a sad affair because obviously there were two coffins in the, in the church. And there was various people got up and Elton talked and some other people and, and um, Gus's brother, Murray, um, who actually has gone ahead and put up kind of a best of of some of Gus's tracks. And uh, I believe it's out right now. Um, it's got a couple of Elton tracks on it, kind of Bowie Space Oddity and stuff like that. Stuff that Gus Dudgeon did that, again, many people hear the song on the radio and they wouldn't obviously, uh, you know, register that Gus Dudgeon was a producer. Obviously, people don't do that. But I think it's important, very important to to highlight the work that some of those guys did because in the 70s especially there was so much great stuff going on out there um and album covers were wonderful because they you got liner notes and you got really good information about who played what that kind of thing and that's another thing that i missed so i decided that when i would do this album um my daughter's a great artist and um, i got her to do the album cover and which is absolutely amazing and there's a little booklet in there with all kinds of information song lyrics and stuff but um i miss that whole thing about people really taking time with the whole album is instead of just putting it up on spotify or whatever here's the single you know and it, it, it to me it's lost it's uh the intimacy of it, of it all has been kind of thrown away to okay if you don't get grab the public's imagination in 10 seconds you might as well forget you what you do which i think is a, a real affront to musicians and to artists, and to great songwriters and whatever. Uh, in general, I think it's become very disposable and I, I don't like that. You know, I've been saying your, your name wrong forever. I've been saying Johnston because I'm a Canadian. Well, it's, it's Canadians, Scots, most of the Brits say Johnston or even, and even Johnson. You know, they don't, when I was growing up, it was always, oh, there's wee Davy Johnson, you know? So um, yeah, it was actually, it's a, there's a bit of a story behind that. When I was on the road with Alice and people already kind of knew who I was from my work with Elton. So I, I think I toured with Alice in 78, something like that. And I was at an airport one day and this guy came up to me and said, you're, um, you're Davey from Elton's band, right? And I went, yeah, yeah, that's right. And he said, um, what's your last name again? And I said, Johnston. He said, no, it's not, it's Johnstone. And when I first started doing videos, maybe nine years ago, uh, the, the, the anniversary Goodbye Elbrook Road I did first, I was crazy sick. And I just, I went behind the mic and I did it. I look like I'm sick. You ever look it up? It's just bad. But anyway, but I'm an announcer. I know how to talk. But when I said your name wrong, uh, you wouldn't believe the, the people were, I said, I don't think he cares, but it's like Brandy Bachman. It's Bachman, not Bachman, but back, but Bachman sounds better. It does actually. It sounds a little more classy and Bachman. Yeah. yeah, no, you know, it's what it is. But you know, uh, I um, I love the fact that the fans really christened me Johnstone, and I and I use that now. That's what I use because it is the spelling, and 
and people, uh, you know, they understand what it is. But yeah, it's an it's an issue sometimes. We'll have another clip from David Johnstone in a few days. Remember, if you want to hear the entire interview, it is on our sister channel, Rock History Book. And this is also a podcast. There'll be a link to it in the description of this video and a link for you to buy Davey's brand new album. Make sure you comment on our videos. We love, we read all the comments. Buy a t-shirt. You can help support the channel. And remember, subscribe to the channel. It makes us very happy. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take good care of yourself.